I'm Marcus Yam, Technology Evangelist at Intel. Today, we're talking about peak PC performance. And who doesn't want more of that? Whether you're a hardcore gamer, content creator, IT professional, or price conscious enthusiast, I'm gonna show you how the Intel 600 series chipsets can help you turbocharge your 12th gen core processors. So, what's a chipset, and why does it matter? Well, to handle today's complex workloads, 12th gen Intel CPUs need to move a lot of data very fast. The CPU supports a big chunk of its own memory and PCIe connectivity, but can sometimes use a little extra help, and that's where the chipset comes in. The chipset, also known as the Platform Controller Hub, or PCH, augments the CPU and is loaded with flexible high-speed I.O. lanes that motherboard manufacturers can use to add even more PCI Express connectivity, 2.5 gigabyte Ethernet, Wi-Fi 6E networking, storage, USB ports, and HD audio. All those devices move information between the chipset and CPU through a dedicated chip-to-chip -chip interconnect called the Direct Media Interface, or DMI. The Intel 600 series chipsets double the DMI transfer rate from eight to a whopping 16 gigatransfers per second for today's fastest peripherals. The Intel 600 series desktop chipset family is engineered to meet the needs of enthusiasts, workstation professionals, IT managers, mainstream gamers, and everyone else in between. Let's take a look at the full lineup to see which one is the right chipset for your next PC. Whether you're a hardcore gamer, content creator, a speed obsessed overclocker, or some combination of the three, the Z690 chipset has the advanced tuning options and connectivity features you'll want to optimize the 12th gen core desktop platform. When paired with the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility, more commonly known as XTU, Z690 unlocks the ratio multiplier settings of the 12th gen core K-series CPUs, enabling you to turn the knobs up to 11 and squeeze more horsepower from P cores and E cores. You can fine tune performance via an extensive dashboard of voltage, current, and power sliders. Or you can use the Intel Speed Optimizer to apply overclock settings with a single click. If memory overclocking is more your thing, you can adjust memory latency in real time via XDU. Or if you've got the chops, you can dig into your motherboard's BIOS and pick a profile with factory tested frequency, timing, and voltage parameters. Of course, that's as long as your Intel CPU belongs to the K family of processors and you're using a supporting motherboard. Z690 adds up to 12 PCIe 4.0 lanes and 16 PCIe 3.0 lanes mapped to expansion slots, onboard Ethernet, or Thunderbolt 4 controllers. Motherboard manufacturers can use Z690's 38 high-speed I.O. lanes to add up to 24 USB ports to handle everything from keyboards, headsets, mice, to high-speed external storage, and other next-gen data-hungry devices. To top it all off, the Z690 supports Intel Rapid Storage Technology, or Intel RST, for RAID modes 0, 1, 5, and 10 across PCIe and SATA attached drives. All right, let's take a look at Z690's more humble sibling, the H670. Intel's H670 chipset retains Z690's most enthusiast-oriented functionality, with an emphasis on factory-optimized performance and loads of connectivity. This is the chipset to pair with our fastest non-K 12th gen core CPUs. The H670 comes pre-tuned for peak performance, driven by its P cores, E cores, and boost algorithms. It supports responsive scheduling enabled by the Intel Thread Director and lets you accelerate data throughput via memory overclocking support. On top of the CPU's 20 lanes of PCIe, the chipset supports an extra 24 lanes of PCIe 4.0 and 3.0, and its 32 high-speed I.O. lanes can morph into 11 USB ports with a combined bandwidth of 120 gigabytes per second. As for storage, you can deploy terabytes of solid-state capacity across multiple M.2 slots and then back it all up using up to eight SATA ports. The ATX70 chipset packs Intel's rapid storage technology, or RST, for RAID 0, 1, 5, and 10 across PCIe and SATA attached drives. Okay, so maybe you're looking for something that delivers even more bang for buck. Let's take a look at the Intel B660. Where the Z and H chipsets are for those chasing the higher ends of performance, the B660 is about balance for mainstream and general purposes. That said, it still comes from the same performance pedigree, so price-conscious enthusiasts get the memory overclocking on any 12th gen core CPU. And you can drop in a DDR4 or DDR5 kit with XMP profiles for a quick bandwidth boost. Or get granular using the Intel Extreme tuning utility. 
the B660 paves the way for affordable motherboards by paring back on some of the extras you normally don't find in a mainstream PC. For example, the Z690 and H670 allow bifurcation of the CPU's PCI 5.0 lanes to create a pair of by 8 links. That's a great option if you need another slot for next-gen storage, but most builders dedicate a single 16-lane link to their graphics card, which is a configuration the B660 supports. And you still get four lanes from the PCI 4.0 from the CPU for today's fastest SSDs. Because B660 maximizes the value of the systems with fewer components, it doesn't need as much interconnect bandwidth to maintain peak performance. A narrower four-lane DMI 4.0 link is plenty fast for the chipset's 24 high-speed I.O. pathways, supporting up to 14 additional PCIe lanes. And you'll get up to 12 additional USB 3.2 ports, offering a combined capacity of 110 gigabytes per second. With high-speed I.O. lanes for up to four SATA ports, the B660 also accommodates plenty of disk-based storage, especially when you factor in all the PCIe ready for high-speed SSDs. And the B660 features Intel RST with RAID 0, 1, 5, and 10 across SATA drives. That's a lot of options for a lot of storage, including redundancy. And not for all but the most demanding workloads that need high-speed data at the fingertips over PCIe. All right, next up is the Intel W680. This is the chipset that makes corporate IT managers think they've died and gone to IT heaven. The W680 packs the performance and tuning capabilities of the flagship Z690 and adds support for ECC memory or error correcting code RAM to ensure high levels of system data integrity and reliability. Paired with the appropriate 12th gen core CPUs, W680 adds vPro platform eligibility for enhanced security and manageability. The Intel vPro platform enables remote out of band management over Wi Fi and offers a collection of below the OS security features, application data protections, and threat detection technologies that help IT managers sleep a little better at night. The W680 isn't your father's stuffy old business platform, though. This is Intel's first workstation-oriented platform with memory overclocking on all 12th gen core CPUs and core overclocking for those part of the K series. And it supports the same core, cache, and graphics controls as the Z690 motherboards. But what if your company is running Office PCs? Well, the Q670 may be just what you're looking for. The Q670 chipset gives Office PCs many of the same connectivity, manageability, and security features as a W680. That means everything from small and medium businesses to enterprises can stay ahead of threats with the help of out-of-band management capabilities. A similar set of vPro technologies make the Q670 a go-to for businesses adopting 12th gen core platforms. Intel standard manageability enables IT teams to remotely power on client systems, program wake-up times for maintenance, and re-image via USB redirection. Full-featured vPro Enterprise for Windows installations add Intel active management technology with keyboard, video, and mouse remote control. Plus, with BIOS level access and vPro features like one-click recovery, technicians can bring disabled systems back to life by reinstalling the last known good image. The Q670 is also quite flexible in application thanks to its uncompromising connectivity. In addition to 12th gen core CPUs on-chip PCIe, the Q670's 34 high-speed I.O. lanes enable up to 12 additional PCIe 4.0 and 12 PCIe 3.0 lanes. And the platform can split the CPU's PCIe 5.0 lanes into a pair of eight lane links for next-gen storage. The Q670 supports up to 22 USB ports, offering combined capacity of 180 gigabytes per second. It integrates Wi-Fi 6E and offers one and two and a half gigabyte ethernet options. A massive 40 gigabit per second of bandwidth over USB Type-C gives the Q670 plenty of connectivity for discrete Thunderbolt 4 controllers. Now, last but not least is the H610 chipset, because building a PC doesn't mean you have to break your budget. Motherboards based on the H610 chipset are meant to be affordable and retain the platform's most useful features and pair well with the more value-oriented 12th gen core processors. PCs built with H610 still feature the 16 lanes of PCIe 5.0 from the CPU to ensure your next-gen graphics cards realizes its performance potential. And with the H610's 12 lanes of high-speed I.O., motherboard makers can add up to 8 lanes of PCI 3.0, up to 4 SATA ports, and as many as 16 USB ports. Now take note that the H610 doesn't have support for USB 3.2 Gen 2x2, nor any overclocking, and supports only one DIMM per channel. A 4-lane DMI link offers plenty of pipeline for pushing data between all those peripherals and a 12th gen CPU. The H610 also has some of the creature comforts that are common to the entire family, such as support for Wi-Fi 6E. Chipsets 
and CPUs have an intertwined relationship. You need both to make a PC, and smart builders will pair the appropriate processor to the chipset depending on need. The right chipset can significantly boost connectivity and performance. So whether you're building a budget PC or looking to do some hardcore overclocking, or making the optimal configuration for your business, Intel 600 series chipset family has what you need to make it happen. To learn more about 12th Gen, subscribe to the Intel Technology channel on YouTube and follow at Intel Tech on Twitter. And as always, thank you for watching.